Lead chromate can be color shifted around quite easily by adding or removing a fifth oxygen. This results in different shades of orange, and all you need to do is increase the pH. To start I need to resuspend my Paris yellow in water. Now I simply add a vermolar solution of sodium hydroxide until the pH reaches 12. After adding quite a bit I was able to see a sudden color shift. What I didn't realize here was that all the lead chromate had ray dissolved into solution, and this dark color is due to lead oxide falling out of solution. Lead oxide alone was a popular pigment called red lead or minimum. Red lead use in medieval artwork. In any case, I might as well collect the lead oxide while I'm at it. As I filter off the red lead, the yellow liquid coming through is our dissolved lead chromate. And here is the red lead. It'll take on a much more vivid red color once it dries. Now to get our actual orange lead chromate, we need to add HCl to our filter to bring the pH down to 12. The lead oxide precipitated because I added far too much hydroxide earlier, and you can avoid this step by just adding it slower. As I add acid, you can see the Paris yellow reform. Once the pH reaches 12, we just let the solution sit for a few minutes and it'll shift to orange. And here it is. This is our desired orange lead chromate which was classically called Persian red. This pigment was used extensively in Frederick Layton's Flaming Tune. In any case, I'm going to skip the filtration step this time to keep the video shortish. Follow and let me know what you'd like to see next.